Mr. Arnquist, when the witness is settled and you're ready, you may inquire. Can you please state your name for the record, please? Denique Wilson. Denique, how old are you? Uh, 34. Where do you reside? Where do I live? Where do you live? Uh, Harmon, Illinois. Ms. Wilson, I need you to do me a favor. I know you're having a conversation with Mr. Arnquist, who's over there, but the young lady to my left is taking down everything that's oh, being said, okay. so I need you to I'm keep sorry. You don't have to talk directly to her, but you need to keep your voice up so she can hear you, okay? Okay. All right. And how do you know Mr. Milby? He's my brother. Approximately what's the age difference between you two? Um, I'd say 13 years. When you say he's your brother, can you explain... Uh, do you have, are both parents, your mother and the father, the same or not? No, we have the same mom. And who is that? Uh, Julie Milby. And is that who Matthew resided with? Yes. And did you reside with Julie Milby as well? Yes. And when you resided with Julie Milby, uh, who, did, who else resided in that home? Uh, George Mitchell and my stepdad, Matt Milby. I'm sorry, George Mitchell? Yes. Thank you. And who is George Mitchell? What is his relationship to He's you? my other brother. And is he Matthew's brother as well? Yes. We all share the same mom. Um, At some point, did you get out of that residence? Yes, I moved when I was 15. And in what ages did you live in that residence? Um, from 10 to 15. Okay. And was Matthew in the residence at that point in time? Yes. Did you witness domestic violence in that house? Yes, regularly. And what, if you can give an example of what you witnessed? Um, my mom used to beat up my stepdad on a pretty regular basis. Uh, she put her hands on both of my brothers, uh, not as often because my stepdad was, for the most part, the punching bag. Um, every now and then she'd put her hands on me. Um, the cops spent a lot of time at our house but nothing would ever come of it. When you say your mom, you're talking about Julie Milby? Yes. And that's Matthew's mother as well, correct? Yes. Can you, do you remember a specific incident um, that was more serious than, than the other ones? Um, yeah, uh, there was a time when my stepdad and mom were arguing and Matthew was too um, my stepdad was holding him, and my mom was... I'm going to interrupt you for just a second, and I apologize, ma'am, if you said this and it passed me by. Your stepdad's name is... Matt Milby. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Um, he was holding my brother, and my mom was slapping and punching both of them in the face. Was there an incident uh, where... Ms. Milby... Did something with the car? Did that happen? Um, yeah, she uh, put us in our minivan and tried to run my stepdad over and kept crashing into the garage and backing up and pulling forward and trying to hit him again, and she did not succeed. Was Matthew there for that? Yeah, Matthew was in the car. In the time frame between 10 and 15 when you were in that house, how regular was the occurrence of either physical or emotional Domestic violence. The emotional uh, violence was almost daily. The physical was at least averaging weekly. Uh, at one point, DCFS forced us to move to Dixon because it was so bad. At some point, were you removed from that house? No. How did you get out at age 15? I asked my dad if I could live with him. Why did you? because my mom was so violent I couldn't take it anymore and the physical or the mental abuse was so bad I just couldn't I couldn't cope with it I couldn't stand to be around her unfortunately because I left my brothers got to endure it more so did you blame yourself for not being able to protect them when you weren't there I blame myself when I got the order of protection against my mother because I couldn't keep an eye on my baby brother anymore Did you ever try to get Matthew Milby out of that house? I begged him to come stay with me, but he couldn't because he said that he couldn't get away from her. She would just come and harass us at our house. And he was right. I called the police and they did nothing. I think, ma'am, there might be a Kleenex over your left shoulder if you need it.
sorry. Don't be sorry. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm okay. Can you describe Matthew, what he was like when he was, when he was younger, say before the age of 10? Oh, he was so good. He used to save everything. He'd he'd go outside and he'd find a bug and he'd he'd save it. He he had a praying mantis for two years that he took care of. He loved all everything. He was just so sweet. He'd go find us rocks outside and he'd give them to us as gifts. It was. I'm sorry. At some point, did, did he take a turn? You know, yeah, know. when me and my brother moved out. That's when it went downhill, I think it's because there was nobody for my mom to mentally abuse and physically abuse other than focus all her energy on him. There was nobody else in the house except for him. My stepdad was heavily medicated and coasting through life on psychotropic meds just so he could tolerate my mom daily. And so Matthew was the only one that was there to take the beating. And what did you notice, personality-wise, from the brother you knew before as he got older? Let's say around the ages of between 14 and 16. He completely shut down. He used to, he was on the football team, and he was a very good football player. He got good grades, and he just didn't do any of it no more. He didn't want to be a part of nothing no more. He didn't have no friends no more. He lost everything. He completely isolated because he was so embarrassed of how my mom treated him in front of people. And did you notice him having delusional thinking, um, behaviors that you had noticed before as he got older? No. that your brother uh, got out of the house. Do you know approximately when he got out? George, um, I'd say it was right around when he was 18. Um, and he got out because he decided to get a girl pregnant so he'd get out faster. And at the time that <coughs> you were out and George was out, is that when you noticed the change in Matthew? Yes. That was when there was no one else for her to focus her attention on other than Matthew.